Hey guys, welcome back to Father Road with Prophet, back with another video. Um, just kind of giving you a bit of a life update. I'm actually sitting in a Walmart parking lot right now, um, figuring out where I'm going to next. But uh, yeah, it's looking like I'm gonna head, uh, I'm back up in like the Portland, Vancouver area. Uh, so, yeah, I'm right actually on the Washington side in Vancouver. Well, battleground technically. Uh, just at a Walmart, was running some errands, but um, gonna go ahead and um, start going here. And um, uh, we're probably gonna head a little further east for now because it seems to be a little more camper friendly as far as like free camping is concerned. So we're gonna take uh, Interstate 84, we're gonna go to a place called The Dallas. Uh, not to be confused with Dallas, Texas, but this place is called The Dallas, I guess. And it's got a couple of free things on both sides of the Columbia there. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. So uh, go ahead and stay tuned. And um, yeah, I will get back to you guys in a minute. Well, hey everyone, welcome back. I am in the place that I'm going to be in probably for the next week or so because they allow uh, seven days free camping here. This is an army cause of uh, engineers campground and it's free for seven days. I want to show you guys around outside and kind of tell you where I am, but it's super windy out there. So you're not going to appreciate that with all the wind sound, but I can show you up my front window here. So this is what we're looking at. This is my view out of the front window and uh, already Doss is uh, down here on the driver's seat enjoying the last of the sun coming through and unfortunately as soon as I got here it was kind of straight oh somebody's walking right in front of my rig okay that's a little creepy um, I guess they don't know the etiquette of not walking through somebody's sight. Anyway, um, <laughs> that kind of startled me for a second. But um, no, as soon I was driving here and it was totally fine. And then as soon as I got here, it was like super windy. It was kind of weird. Um, but yeah, I can show you guys kind of out the door. There's one other van here. I don't think there's anybody else. Um, and then, yeah, I'm just making a pizza for dinner right now. Just waiting for the oven to heat up and then I'm, I love my oven and some people don't like ovens and obvies but I really love my oven because I can just throw a pizza in on a travel day like this but um no we are um currently across so I'm in the Washington side that over there is the Oregon side that's actually uh you well maybe you can see it right through there that's uh interstate 84 that goes east to west and through Oregon. So I'm um, in the, the across from the Dales, I think, or the Dallas, it's called, and it's across the bridge on the on the uh, the Washington side where I found this campground. There's a bridge that goes between the two, so I'm probably gonna go check out that area in the next couple of days. But this is a good place to sit. Um, I found it on Iowa Lander. It's also on Campendium. It's kind of seasonal. They say it's not open to the public during like the fishing season or the commercial fishing season, and then every other time it is. Um, I'm trying to think, Avery Park—that's the name. If you look up Avery Park in in Oregon, um, that's uh, it's an Army Corps of Engineer campground. That's what you're looking for, and that's where I'm camped at. So, if you guys are interested in that, because I know a few of you kind of take note of the places that I go to, but it's absolutely a hundred percent free of charge. Um, I really wish it was less windy out there. So what I'm going to do is in the magic of video, I'm going to go ahead and drop off here. I'm going to continue making my dinner and then I'll get back with you guys. Um, it'll probably be the next day for me and just a second for you guys. And I can show you around the place. Hopefully it's not going to be windy. And then I can just kind of fill you in and update you with what's happening with, you know, work and everything else that's going on. I got quite a response on my last video. I appreciate everyone that has reached out to me so far um, and, you know, left comments. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys in a second. All right. All right, everyone. It's day two. As I said, magic of video. Uh, just haven't been up that long. Just got to ride the freaking train horn last night. I mean, okay. So this is where I'm at, parked in the train track right there there's a crossing so i don't mind the sound of the train but that horn 
is obnoxious at 2 and 3 and 4 in the morning and it just goes on and on. Um, yeah, and then something else happened last night. Uh, it was really windy and a piece of the branch off this tree, not a big one, but one big enough, snapped off the tree and fell onto my roof and then fell onto the ground. So I'm hoping it didn't cause any damage. I haven't got up there and checked. I don't think it did. I think it's fine, but <clears throat> I'm gonna check anyway. Uh, better safe than sorry. Uh, but uh, it's a beautiful spot. I mean, this view is amazing. Uh, there's a lot less trees here, obviously, because, well, <laughs> I say that and I'm parked in the trees, but you know, generally surrounding because it's more, um, as we start to head towards central east and east in Oregon. Um, I think that's Mount Hood over there in the distance. I didn't see that yesterday. It was a little more cloudy. Um, so that's pretty darn cool. But yeah, this is the Avery Park. Um, and I made a, a boo boo yesterday. I was playing back the video, and realized I'd said Oregon. It's on the Washington side uh, near Lyle. So you would, depending on which side of the road you're coming along, you would cross at the Dallas or the Dales. Oregon onto the other side or if you are coming from the Washington side you continue along highway 14 past Lyle Washington and then it's it's right here um, it's on Iovalander anyway and it's on Campendium so you should guys should be able to find it um, anyway let's take a little walk around the park itself nobody really here there was a couple of people here last night but they took off pretty early this morning just car campers um, there's a couple of pit toilets over here. <clears throat> there is a dumpster too, which is great for dumping trash. Um, and there's picnic tables strewn about the place too, so, and a boat launch at the end. So it's pretty cool for seven day free camping. But uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's go peek at this sign over here. There's one other van here in the perfect spot. And the reason I say that, because my solar is not doing so great. So, although this has been great, I get my power off solar, as you guys know, and I need more of an open spot, kind of like that one over there. Um, uh, yeah. This is the sign as you come in. It's reserved for treaty fishing during designated seasons, open to the public all other times. And if you come over here, there's a sign right beside it that says campus permitted April 1st to October 31st, seven day limit in a 30 day period. And then it just reiterates that it's closed to the general public during the commercial fishing season. So, and then <clears> the <throat> other side, I got this gigantic mountain as my backdrop right here. Uh, but yeah, the wind finally calmed down. I think, uh, yeah, essentially what I'm doing is I'm not, I'm trying not, you know, my, I think I'd mentioned that my mom is coming in the uh, end of this month, uh, April 28th or 29th, I'll have to look again. So I'm trying not to venture too far away from PDX, Portland. So I generally have a rule in place right now and it's just a made up thing, but I stick within a hundred miles. So I'm a hundred miles right now. This is as far as I'll go. And then I'll go back the other direction. And then I might go a hundred miles towards the coast or south or north a little. But generally speaking, no more than that. That also can serve on gas. Um, and I'm looking for places where I can sit for a little while. So I guess you could say I'm on the road to nowhere right now, just temporarily. Um, once my mom comes to visit, um, we'll visit and do our thing and that'll be exciting. And then after that, uh, hopefully I'm gonna land either a work camp position uh, based on the ones that I've applied for already and, and, and had interviews with or I'm going to get myself a new new IT job or potentially there is always the potential I can go back to the company that I worked for but uh, it's a little slim looking right now and I won't get into the details but yeah um, so yeah we just stayed here last night uh, it got down into the 30s last night but you guys know I have diesel heaters so I did really well with that um, the cold doesn't bother me as long as it's not you know 20 below zero or something crazy like that um and then today i'm not even in a jacket and it feels it feels really nice i, I haven't even checked the temperature but it's got to be pretty nice anyway i'm gonna climb up this ladder and 
check the roof here and see how my panels are looking uh, just to make sure that I didn't damage the roof when that tree branch fell so let me put this phone down uh, this camera down and I'll be right back all right well <clears throat> looks fine up here uh, roof could do with a little bit of a clean but other than that everything looks okay um, Noisy truck going by. Panels look okay too, so I think it's just these trees that are killing my performance. All right, I'm gonna climb back down the ladder. <laughs> okay, well, we're back inside the rig. Uh, yeah, I guess there's no issues with the uh, the roof or the panels, so that's really good. Um, I just do a little bit of a clean. Um, some scratches up there from what I could see, but like nothing major the roof looks good the solar panels look good everything seems to look good so yeah we're gonna try move out of this location where the sun is being blocked go a little further down the road and and uh, that'll be under the video i'll drop back in and kind of show you guys where i'm at but it's not too far from here there's a lot of free 7 to 14 day camping around here even though um you know it's not luscious green trees like it is in the western part of oregon even though we're technically still in the western part we didn't go that far but it, it just drastically changes i guess uh between you know once you leave out of portland and start heading heading east you know by a, a couple of hours but uh it is on the columbia which is really cool um and it is still really pretty here just in a different way so um the coast is something that i i love i love the beach i love the coast it's a it's calming to me but uh budgetary wise yeah it's not really affordable right now um so yeah well um i guess that's all i have for this video for now I, again i appreciate each and every one of you um if you're not um subscribed already then please please consider subscribing it helps me out a lot your your likes and your your uh, comments is what's really uh driving the uh, algorithm actually more than the subscriptions so you know um go back check out my old videos make sure you're hitting that like button um leave a comment um it all really helps of course subscriptions are nice to have uh and i do appreciate it and i you know i i, I do want them but um yeah i guess what i'm learning is the view counts and all that stuff i guess that kind of helps so yeah i also set up a new service um you know and it's just a way that if you um appreciate my videos and want to it's called buy me a coffee so if you want to buy me a coffee uh, for example um you can go ahead and do that i'm not set up on the way that you can do that with youtube when you get to a certain amount and you can do like the live chats and you know you can do you know a dollar or two or whatever you want to do um but if any of you guys want to do that you don't have to i always say that i always feel strange about this if you you know um that's why i usually don't mention this stuff but uh, i'm gonna just drop it in there anyway it's it's in the description um do or don't it's totally fine with me either way um all right well um i will talk to you guys in the next video in a couple of days and um i again i appreciate each and every one of you all right peace out